morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training, even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive! <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Mm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. Hi, Alfred. Do you have a moment? Sure do. Whatever you need, I'm all ears. I appreciate the beautiful breakfasts you've been bringing me in the mornings. But would you please stop making them? <gasps> oh no! They've been too heavy on the meat, haven't they? I just wanted you to get strong. To be honest, they do have a ton of meat. But that's not why I'm bringing it up. I just feel bad that you've gone out of your way to do this for me every morning. Ah, uh, I get you. Sorry about that. I wasn't out to make you feel bad. I thought my friend would enjoy waking up to healthy, yummy breakfasts. But I'll cut it out. Thank you, Alfred. There was one other thing. Every night, as I'm fading into sleep, I hear the haunting song of a flute. Yeah, that's me playing a lullaby, just making sure the Divine One gets a good night's rest. Ah, I thought that was your silhouette outside my sanctum. Your playing is quite lovely. But I'd like for you to stop doing that as well. Please. The song continued into the late hours, and it started invading my dreams. Oh no, I am so sorry. I had a hard time telling when you were asleep, so I just kept going. I was only trying to help, but... Wow, this really didn't pan out. Maybe I'm not worthy of being your friend. Uh, that's rather extreme. I always try to keep things light, but I feel awful right now. I need a jog to clear my head. Sorry for the trouble, Divine One. I'm off for my run. Goodbye. Wait! Alfred? Ah, there you are, Alfred. Do you recall when you said you weren't worthy of my friendship? Yeah. I didn't think hard enough about your feelings, and I made a pest of myself. Well, I disagree with what you said. You're my friend, Alfred. We ended up here because you were trying so hard to help me, which I do appreciate. So please, don't ever say things like that again. Sorry, Divine One. Everything I did was way off the mark. How could I possibly still call myself your friend? You already do so much for me, Alfred. Doing additional things isn't necessary. You know, you were the first friend I made after I awoke. It would pain me if my first friend didn't spend time around me anymore. Your first friend, huh? That's got a real ring to it. Thank you. I'd be honored. I did feel close to you, you know, even before you woke up. So when you finally did wake up, I was so excited that I went completely overboard. But I'm through with all that. From now on, let's be plain old friends. I'd like that. Very much. Good. Oh, I have a great idea. As my totally regular friend, what do you say we do laps around the atrium together? Laps? As in running? Right now? No time like the present. Off we go! Now wait just a moment. I haven't even agreed. Alfred? Alfred! Good morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. Is something troubling you? You look a little upset. You could tell, huh? I'm dealing with a lot of emotions right now. You know me, 
I act, then maybe, I think. Not the other way around. Yes, I've noticed that in you. Once you have an idea, you run with it. But for the first time in maybe ever, I'm dragging my heels getting something done. This time, if I act without thinking, I might end up destroying a perfectly good friendship. Plus, I'd be going back on my word. What do you mean? Remember when I said I wanted us to be plain old friends? <sighs> Don't tell me you're back to feeling unworthy of my friendship again. <sighs> I'm the Crown Prince of Fierne. I can't be a coward when it comes to this of all things. Plain old friends isn't going to cut it with me anymore, sorry to say. Divine One, I want us to be closer than that. <sighs> I said I'd stop going overboard when it comes to you, but I can't help myself. I even brought you this. See what I mean? The embroidery on this is exquisite. It's an old Fyrenese tradition to pass down embroidered clothes through the generations. This royal piece has been re-sewn so many times, it's taken on a completely new form. Still, I have it. And I'm supposed to give it to someone important to me to show I care. Wow, thank you so much. I will happily accept your gesture. Oh, gosh. You're sure it's not too much? No, it's perfect. I feel the same way about you, thinking back. I felt that way almost as soon as we met in Lethos Castle. Now I have something for you. Please, may I see your hand, Alfred? The Pact Ring? We're going to be inseparable. I look forward to the journey ahead with you. Thank you. I'm done holding back my feelings. I love you. You've made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs>